I, I've known you for a long time since I've been broadcasting the games, and I know that the losing eats at you. But fans that call in or on Twitter, they go, Hal doesn't care that much about a championship. He just wants to have a competitive team for the network and have attendance. What do you say to people that say that? Because they don't know you like I know you. So this is an opportunity to tell them how you feel when the team is struggling. What they expect is us to put a lot of money in the team every year. That's what my family does every single year. We are among the very top payrolls in baseball. So if I just cared about fielding a competitive team, I wouldn't have gone out and signed Rodon. Okay, I would have signed Judge, and boop, we're done. But I felt we needed another number one, number two starter to put in that rotation to, to win in the postseason. And that's why we went and spent a lot of money on, on Carlos. And he's going to be great. He's healthy now. But, I mean, I, I don't know how to respond to something like that, but I guess I would use that as an example. I could have had a competitive team without Rodon. Do you throw shoes at the TV when something bad happens? Uh, I throw stuff. I don't know if it's necessarily a shoe. <laughs> but uh, I, I, if you're asking me if I have a temper, I, I do have a temper. Uh, my wife, like, you know, most nights steers clear of me when I'm, when I'm watching the game. So, again, like my dad, I'm a bit... I'm a bit that way, but uh, I, I try to, as you know me for so long, I try to maintain my, my cool, Michael, but it doesn't always work. Yeah, I, I, we've, I've gotten to know you not as well as Michael, but I, I know how desperately you want to win, and you give a great example of you continue to sink money into this team to be competitive. But will there ever be a point if you continue to sink that money in and it doesn't pay dividends that you would have to now look at a, a different path, a different way of doing it? Well, we also sink a lot of money into player development. Um, you know, we're among you know performance science. Um, we're we're among the, the the you know the top. Everyone talks about our top you know top revenues being the highest in baseball. Our expenses are among the highest in baseball. Believe me. So um, I believe, as you know, in a very balanced team, we need the veterans and the superstars, and the leaders, but the, we also need to put a lot of money into player development and try to sign the best guys we can and. We always spend, uh, you know, as much money as anybody does in foreign signings and uh, domestic draft and and uh, and everything else we do in player uh, development. So, are you developing uh, I, players I it, enough to your liking? Say again. Are you developing players enough to your liking? I think we are. You know, I think the last two trade deadlines would say yes because we got a lot of different players that teams have asked for, and you know, some of which we've we've uh, we've sent away. And you know, I look at us now and. Peraza, Dominguez, Austin Wells. I mean, we've got some great players down there. Uh, Beater was a, the pitcher we got in the Gallo trade. has been an unbelievable, pleasant surprise. And the whole double-A uh, pitching staff is, is pretty solid. And so, I mean, we, we've got some good players. And um, I think the fact that so many different players are being asked about from other teams every trade deadline and every offseason is a testament to that, in a way, to me. All right, so how you uh... – Peter Rosenberg on our show, his he loves his pathetic Washington Commanders, and that is where's a, this going? It's Not a dumpster sure. fire team, Hal, and they just sold it for six billion dollars. So oh. I can only imagine what you could sell the Yankees for. Have you ever thought about what do I need the aggravation? Let me sell this team for nine billion dollars. Has that ever crossed your mind? No, because I mean, just despite the. Uh, rumblings about me. I don't own a yacht. I don't really have a hobby, except for a few old uh, American muscle cars. But other than that, I mean, this this is this is something my family is very invested in. And the third generation is invested in it. I mean, I've got, you know, George's grandsons and granddaughters are all working here now. So um, it's a family business. And, you know, I was at the Heinz Complex today, and yesterday we had a Gulf Coast League game. I love being there. Um, so it's a family business. There's never been any talk of that. I mean, it's just... What would I do? <laughs> well said. 